But it's a 27 point turnaround. They were 10 3 down. But they've managed to hang in there, built mainly on a scrum that has pulverised their opposition. And Ireland have recovered from the disappointment of not sealing the win against England in wretched conditions in the Western Cape. They've come through a very stiff test against a hugely talented Australian team. And they put themselves in a wonderful position going into that final game against Fiji. A great spot from which to build a potential run to the semi-final. Huge performances from the back row in particular, from the front row. And Ireland have beaten Australia after a really impressive second half. Full time, it's finished Ireland 30, Australia 10. Ah uh, yes, Ireland's Cape Crusaders, superheroes all uh, in that do or die game. It was built up that way before it and Ireland got the job done in Parl uh, this morning. What a performance from them. They have to finish the job. They are next in action uh, on Tuesday next. They will take on Fiji in their final pool match. Have to finish it off after that performance today, don't they? We are live with that one on Virgin Media 2 from noon. But Ian McKinley, that must be a very satisfied uh, Ireland uh, set up after the way they, they put Australia to bed in that second half. Yeah, they certainly gave their Australian counterparts a, a lesson in how to play those type of conditions, patient game, um, leadership, playing in the right areas of the field. And the question I had beforehand was, you know, the Australian front three, could they nullify that? They certainly did in spades. They out-muscled, out-powered. Brian Gleeson, immense. Even Charlie Irvin, immense. That is a huge, huge performance with all this pressure that we were talking about for this group. So they should be hugely proud. I mean, the work isn't done, but that certainly is a, is a marker that they have put down and won convincingly. 19-0 in the second half. And I don't think Australia can have any complaints. Didn't even get into the Irish half, bar the, the, the first mm. back play. Total, total control from the Irish team. How impressive in those conditions was the way that Ireland overpowered Australia? Yeah, it was just brilliant. I mean, they, they starved Australia of possession, but when Ireland had the ball, they got over the gain line constantly. They'd just done the right things in the right areas of the pitch. Sam Prendergast kicking game, the relief kicks, Finton Gunn was similar. It was it was completely different performance. You know, a far more mature performance than we've seen from them in the week before to England. So they've, they've done their homework in Australia and absolutely blasted them physically off the pitch. But adapted their own game as well, didn't they? Yeah. in terms of what we've seen from them before as a team. I, absolutely. It was some uh, exciting play. You know, last week we saw them being slightly flat at times and they weren't able to use those wide channels. But I think they judged everything perfectly this week. They kept the ball in tight when needed. They went down the line. They kicked perfectly. But they also let loose in their back line and we could see the, the yards they made and the counter-attack was really good at times as well. They are brilliantly set up now. I remember Ireland came into the last um, tournament of this nature as Grand Slam Six Nations champions as well and they exited in <clears throat> the group stage that time so they have delivered a huge performance uh, from Richie Murphy's uh, side this morning.